Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. Hoping everyone's having a good day. In today's video, what we're going to talk about is how to adjust the shift linkage between turf mode and two-wheel drive. We'll start by talking about some of the tools you need. This is a pretty simple procedure. This is it. This is all you'll need. Phillips head screwdriver, small flathead screwdriver, 14 millimeter wrench, and a 10 millimeter socket. I find it easier to use a small extension and a deep well to get to the area that you can't reach. So you're gonna to wanna to start with your bed in the dumped position. And what you're gonna to need to do is access the panel underneath here. So we're gonna show you how to do that. So how we wanna start this maintenance is by getting at least the rear wheels off the ground. So a couple different ways you can accomplish that using either a standard car jack or I have a Tusk UTV lift here that I use. Gets all four wheels off the ground. But the goal will be to have at least the rear wheels off the ground so that we can rotate them and determine whether or not we're in two wheel drive or turf and make adjustments as necessary. So we're gonna start with our flathead screwdriver, small push pin on the forward end. Once we pull that out, pretty simple, set that aside. Next thing is our Phillips and remove our Phillips head right here. Once those two items are removed, this bracket just lifts up and we pull it out of the way. This box is where the shift linkage adjustments are made. There's one, two, three, four, 10 millimeter sockets that we'll have to remove. All right, once we get those four sockets out of the way, this box just lifts right off, set it aside. And now we can see our cable adjustment down here. So what we have in here is three wires. This one over here on our right goes to our two wheel drive and turf mode adjustment lever. This one here in the center goes all the way back to the rear differential. And this one right here is our parking lever. So what we're gonna show you is when you adjust each one of these, how it pulls on the rear lever to adjust your rear differential. So we'll start by taking it from park to neutral. So as you can see, going from park to neutral pulls it up this way, therefore pulling this lever out. So when we put it back in park, it pushes it back down and allows the spring-loaded tension to pull it out. So now we're going to place this in neutral. So now with the shift lever in neutral, we're able to turn our rear wheel. Now let's go ahead and place the two-wheel drive selector switch from two-wheel drive to turf. And then from turf back to two-wheel drive. So what you can see is either one of these two is pulling on this, and this wire is going to go back to your rear differential. And that is what is engaging or disengaging the two-wheel drive, the lock, or the park function of your rear differential. So from the factory, out of the manual, you have these notches, two on this side and two identical ones on this side. So when you're placed in the park and two-wheel drive position, these edges should line up with your notches fairly well on both sides. And then the circle point here, which is the line that goes to your rear differential, should be right in between, kind of the bottom edge here, should be right in between these two lines. So we see there's two lines kind of going across here. We want them to cut that pretty close to where it is right there. Now that's the factory adjustment. That's not gonna be perfect for every single vehicle. There's all sorts of different options out there. People were running lifts, big tires, different suspension components which could possibly cause this to be out of alignment even in the perfect factory position. So what we're gonna do is show you how to adjust depending on what the problem is. I have seen a lot of people on the forums and on Facebook talk about difficulties getting from turf mode to two wheel drive, which is this lever right here, adjusting this lever right here. Remember this one goes back to the rear differential and that is gonna pull and push a small cog out of the differential to lock it into two-wheel drive or unlock it into turf. This lever is your two-wheel drive turf adjustment lever, and this one again is your parking lever. 
The issue that I've seen people having is when they take their vehicle from two wheel drive into turf and the indication will stay in park and they'll be driving around for a while and hear a loud bang or pop as the rear differential unlocks. So we'll show you how to adjust that. So where we're gonna start is that our shift park lever is in neutral and this lever is in two wheel drive. And as you can tell, our rear wheel spins, but only one of them spins. So we're gonna go ahead and shift it over to turf mode. And again, free spinning. All right, back to two wheel drive. And again, still spinning. So the issue is that this lever has to push back enough in that direction to engage on the rear differential. So we'll use our 14 millimeter. If needed, 14 millimeter is what fits. A lot of times you can do it by hand, it depends. We're gonna back this off four turns. And what makes it easier to back it off is if you start in the two wheel drive and parked, and that loosens up any play on this. So go ahead and turn this one, two, three, four. So what you'll notice is there's some beveled edges on this. So as you turn it, it is gonna wanna lock into place. It doesn't wanna turn because of these beveled edges right here, lock into place. So now that we've adjusted it our four turns, let's go ahead and put it back in neutral. And now that we're still in two wheel drive, our rear wheels don't lock up. So let's go ahead and put it in turf mode. So as you can see, we're in neutral and turf and our rear wheel spins just like it's supposed to. And if we put it over into two wheel drive, notice that it doesn't lock up. So we're gonna wanna make some more adjustments. So let's go ahead and put it in two wheel drive and park. And we'll go ahead and take four more turns out of this. One, two, three, four. All right, now we'll shift to neutral and turf. And as we can see, wheels operate correctly. Shift over to two wheel drive. And you can tell now that our rear differential locks up. Now our both rear wheels are spinning together. Now if we take it back to turf, it unlocks our rear wheels. And then back to two wheel drive, it immediately locks them up. Back to turf, unlocks. Now we've adjusted our center option to make sure that we're engaging the rear differential properly. But you notice that we're not quite perfect with the way the factory recommends. Uh, this machine has about 1400 miles on it. It's been through a couple different oil changes. I've got different shocks, different wheels and tires, a couple different things here and there that'll possibly change how this gets adjusted. But as you can tell, it works properly now. So you're gonna kinda wanna play with it. Maybe you need to adjust this. Maybe you need to adjust this, or maybe it's this one. The ultimate goal is that any of these three that you adjust, you're gonna wanna push and pull this line so that it spring loads and it connects with your rear differential appropriately. So I wanted to quickly show you where the rear differential is. And when we're making these adjustments, what is it actually doing? So if we go in through the rear with our dump bed up, we can come all the way back and here's our rear differential. And there's a black cover right here with two 10 millimeter screws. Now I've already removed the screws just for the sake of the video. But if we pull this cover off, we can see that this lever is for our rear differential. So we'll go ahead and put the unit in neutral. And then we'll put the unit into two wheel drive. It's already in two wheel drive. All right, and now we'll put the unit into turf mode. And you can see with each adjustment, the center cable is either going to push or pull on this cable attached to the rear differential and align the rear differential to either unlocked, locked, or park. So we'll show you that one more time. We'll go ahead and take it from turf mode to two wheel drive, back to turf mode, back to two wheel drive, and now to park. So as you can see, there's a three position cog inside of there, whether it's 
turf, two wheel, or park. And the adjustment of those three levers adjusts how much this piece moves back here on the rear differential. So I hope this video helps you out. I was already adjusting my rear differential, so I figured I'd go ahead and make a video. This is the second or third time that I've done it. I've become somewhat proficient at it, so I wanted to go ahead and show you guys how I do it. Hopefully this helps you out. If it does, please leave a thumbs up, maybe a like and a subscribe. And again, if there's a video that you're looking for, something specific, let us know. Appreciate you coming out. Hope you guys are having a good day. Bye.